What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we need to talk about Romance Dawn. We talked about Romance Dawn a lot. It's the first One Piece TCG set. It's a really good set, even when OPO2 comes out, this first set is still going to remain an excellent set. But a lot of the discussion lately has been about the fact that it's nigh on impossible to find. Which, let's face it, is where we are at the moment. It is very difficult to actually find this in stock. And especially finding places that are selling it for a decent price, not just trying to get as much money as they possibly can. Speaking of which, please, please, please make a note of the stores that are trying to just get as much money as they possibly can. And the stores that are not price gouging. Please, going forward, because there is going to be plenty of stock later on, I promise you. Please... Spend your money in the stores that didn't rip you off when they had the chance. And please ignore the stores that did. There are a bunch of stores right now who are trying to make a bunch of easy money ripping you off because they can. And they can right now. And they are. And I, I get it. I know they can and all of that rubbish. But I also know that it's not the right thing to do. And I know that we kind of have to buy from these guys now or not buy at all. So I'm not saying don't buy from these guys now. Personally, I'm not. But I know some of you do just really want the cars, and I do understand that. But I am saying just make a note and make sure that when stock is plentiful, the kind of stores that are ripping you off now are going to be the kind of stores that are charging below RRP when stock is out there. If you continue to support them, they will rip you off at every opportunity. Here's one. Now, I showed you this store the other day selling for $145. couple of days before that, they were selling for 135. This is a couple days after I made the previous video, and they've gone from 135 to 145 to 160. They are literally just trying to see how much they can get away with ripping you off. That's literally all they're doing. And I promise you, these are the kind of stores that as soon as stock is fine, they are gonna sell below RRP. And then the second there is a product that has got even remotely low stock, they are just going to rip you off again. And they're just going to go round and round in circles. Don't support these stores. But the thing is, what we're seeing with Romance Dawn here in the West is exactly what Japan saw with Romance Dawn when it released over there. Romance Dawn was basically impossible to find. One of the things that really kind of shocked me was that Romance Dawn was being sold on Premium Bandai. Now, this is kind of a big deal. Like, Premium Bandai is what Bandai uses to sell things which they're unsure about. Things that they don't know if it's going to sell or not. So over here, we've seen it with the binders. We've seen it with the premium card folders. We've got all the promos and all of that in. And there's a good reason for this. Essentially, what they use this for is they use it where they don't know if they're going to sell. And they don't know how much they're going to sell. So what they basically do is they do it made to order on Premium Bandai. They take the orders, they make them, they don't make too many. It's a way of being able to sell these cool products without the risk of overproducing and losing money. They also then do sell it in places like Europe in game stores. But by the time they come into game stores, they've already got the information from having sold it on Premium Bandai. So they can have a really good idea of rough demand before they actually make it. It's a way of selling weirder products knowing the demand so that they don't actually have to take the risk. That's what Premium Bandai is. They literally started selling booster boxes of Romance Dawn on Premium Bandai from a lottery. So not only were they selling regular booster boxes on the we use this to sell weird stuff we don't know is going to sell site, but it was so popular on there they had to sell it by a lottery. And that was shocking to me. And I think that is one of the best ways to really see quite how popular Romance Dawn got over in Japan. The fact that it was sold on Premium Bandai and the fact that it was sold by a lottery system on Premium Bandai should basically give you everything you need to know of how ridiculous this was. For months after the release of Romance Dawn, you just could not find it anywhere in Japan 
for a decent price. It was basically impossible. You just could not get it anywhere. Here's a screen grab from November, where even though it was being sold well above what it should be sold for, completely sold out. Just completely gone, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, back in November, here is another one from a few days later. People were selling for just absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous prices. It was absolutely absurd. So what happens if we go and have a little bit of a look at Romance Dawn today, or yesterday actually? Yeah, it's just up there. 7,348 yen, and actually this will ship to the UK, and it ships for a decent price to the UK, and actually, yeah, this is kind of easy. It's just there. Now, I will say this is above retail. Retail is like 5,000 yen. So this is actually a little bit above, admittedly. I don't really care, honestly. <laughs> I don't really care. Because the point here very simply is that it's there. And it's available. And it's pretty much retail. Again, little bit, little bit above but nothing like what we've seen in the past. Bearing in mind, this was a set in Japan that was being sold for absolutely outrageous prices. I was seeing this three, four times retail that was so popular, it was being sold on a lottery system on premium Bandai. And now I can just go and buy it from Japan, shipped to the UK for a pretty decent price. Actually, cheaper than I can get an English box right now. <laughs> Which I do find very, very interesting. And one of the things this shows us is that things are getting better. Japan, don't be believing that we've got it worse than Japan. When Romance Dawn launched over in Japan, it was just as bad as it is here. It was impossible to find. You could not find a booster box. And you, I mean, you, you could, I suppose, that's a lie. You could find a booster box, but you would be selling well, well above. That's how much you were looking for here. I can pick up a Japanese box on eBay right now for like 85 bucks. And, I, and that's shipped to the US. And that's absurd. Because again, you couldn't find these in Japan a few months ago. And I know that $85 is a bit above retail, blah, blah, blah. My point is, this is a product that was impossible to find in Japan a few months ago. Now I can casually get it sent from Japan to the US for a decent price. And to be clear, new sets when they come out, this is about what you're going to pay being sold to, to the US. You're not getting ridiculously cheap prices. You're not getting booster boxes shipped to the US for like 50 bucks. They're going to be like 80 bucks. That's about what you're going to spend. And the Japanese boxes are available to the US for that much. What about the English boxes? Still dumb. Still incredibly dumb. If I go and have a look on eBay right now, the first two that I see English boxes are uh, basically 190 and 195. I know it says 180, but it's got like 850 shipping. So it's 190, 195. And that's about what you're going to spend. I'm not going to show you all the listings. That will take a long time and get kind of boring. But th these are not unrepresentative. This is about what you're going to spend. They are about 190, $200. That is what you're paying for a box of Romance Storm right now. Do please bear in mind there is an RRP. And the RRP is $4.19 times 24 packs, which is $100.56. We know there's a reprint coming. And I have explained to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen, that this is set one of a new TCG. What that means is that it has to be printed into the ground. It has to be, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason it has to be printed into the ground is because, and I've explained this a couple of times, but for those that haven't heard it from me yet, this is set one. Bandai have no real interest in selling Romance Dawn. Selling boxes of Romance Dawn is not the goal. The goal with set one is hooking people. Hooking people who are not going to buy a box of Romance Dawn. They're going to buy a couple boxes of Romance Dawn. 
And then they're going to go and buy a couple boxes of OPO2, and then OPO3, and then OPO4, and then OPO5, and so on and so forth. That is what you're doing, ladies and gentlemen. That is the goal. And that's kind of my point here. We know reprints are coming. And even if we don't know exactly how many, we know they have to keep printing. Back on the 11th of December, I showed you this image where boxes were selling for 160. Now I'm showing you this image where boxes are selling for 190. And if you really want them, you're going to have to pay. And I know I showed you that shop selling them for 160 and I'm being a little bit judgy that they're just keep increasing the price to see how much we'll pay. And they were selling 160 a few days ago and now boxes are 190. And if we keep paying the ridiculous prices, people will keep charging the ridiculous prices. My goal is extremely simple. I'm gonna wait. And I'm probably gonna have to wait a little while. And I'm gonna keep waiting. And I'm gonna keep waiting. And I'm going to keep waiting. And at some point, the reprints are going to come out and we're going to be fine. If you need to buy cards for a deck, obviously you need them. If you really want to buy the boxes now, I understand some people really want to or have to pay above. And that's absolutely fine. If the treasure cups are happening and you need cards and you need cards for the treasure cup, I get that. But I'm also telling you that things will get better. And what I wanted to show you today was that in Japan, things are better. Things are getting better. The fact that I can buy a box shipped to the UK or the US for a decent price proves that they are getting better. And boxes in Japan on release were just as ridiculous as boxes over here are now. And it got better. And it keeps getting better. And it is going to keep getting better. I know over here prices are ridiculous, boxes are getting up to $200, etc. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, reprints are going to come, it is going to be fine, and if you don't believe me just saying it, I've literally spent this video proving to you that it has happened in Japan, and that alone should be enough. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think. Have you picked up any Japanese boxes? Do you want to pick up any Japanese boxes? How are you faring with trying to get English boxes? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.